Welcome back. You're watching the PBC here on FS1. We're inside the Pitts Tunica Casino and Hotel. Time for our first fight of the night. Let's get right to the Corona Tale of the Tape, who invites you to find your beat. Oscar Molina, the Wolf, Levon Gava Machava. Now listen, the Wolf a little older, but everything else pretty much even. Same height, same weight. The reach is just about even. Molina, a former Olympian. Gava Machava, a little more professional experience. This one should be a good one. We're following the unified rules of boxing here in Mississippi. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the belt in any round. If the fight ends because of an unintentional foul or head, but before four rounds are completed, it's a no decision. After four rounds, we're going to the scorecards for a technical decision. Both fighters are in the ring. We get the official introduction from Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Fitz Casino and Hotel here in Tunica, Mississippi. Live on FS1, this is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with 10 rounds in the welterweight division. The three judges ringside are Recia Allen, Gerald Deming, and Mac Thornton. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Randy Phillips. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black and the white. His record, 17 wins, 13 of those coming by way of knockout against three losses and one bout even. Fighting out of Pote, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing LaVon the Wolf Gavami Chava. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. His record, 13 wins, 10 of those coming by way of KO against one loss, fighting out of Norwalk, California. He is the 2012 Mexican Olympian, Oscar Molina. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the roof, so y'all listen to my commands at all times and give me a clean fight. Any questions? No. Both, look, both trunks are good now. Well, there's Oscar Molina for him. The first fight at this weight as a professional. He said, listen, I've had a loss and a draw. I need to look impressive tonight and make it a statement. Box. This is round one. The Wolf, the gray trunks, the black trim, and Molina in the black trunks. And it's Molina with the jab. Stiff jabs by Molina. There's a right to the body by the Wolf. There's a double left hook by Molina. That's what he's known for. Here's a left hand to the body by Gavon Machaba. Both of them establishing the jab here in round one. A minute gone. See right now, I'm looking at the wolf. I'm looking at the demeanor of the fighters. And the wolf looks like he's been here before. Um, Molina looks like he's trying a little hard, but you know, he's he's landing good, good, great power shots and, and everything is behind a good jab. One of the things Molina talked about is the sense of urgency. He said, listen, I, I'm coming off a loss. Before that, I had a draw. And for Gavama Java, last time we saw him was right here in February. He lost a split decision right. to your Dennis no Ugas, Stand who you'll back. see in the main event. Box. But just look at the composure of him. He's very cool, calm. I've been here before. I'm taking his best shots. I'm not moving. He's not giving up too much landscape. And, and he's, he's relaxed. He's very relaxed. 
And for Gavama Gav Java, he has spent his entire career, for the most part, fighting at 140, even at the amateur levels. I've been fighting at 140 since the age of 18, now at 31, just this third fight at 147. He said, I feel so much more powerful at this weight. Molina must stay behind that jab. Um, the Wolf, is, is he has a tight guard, but the jab is slipping through every single time. He has to set everything up through that. Of course, Gaval Machava trained by one of the best trainers in the business, Virgil Hunter. Got a lot of sparring in with Andre Berto for this fight as Berto was preparing for the Sean Porter fight. Short uppercut by Levan Gavachava. Here's a right to the body by Molina. Great jab, Molina. Stick to the jab. Keep jabbing, Molina. Here comes the final 10 seconds of round one. As they exchange right hand and combination by Molina. Good first round. Welcome back. You're watching Toe to Toe Tuesday as you take a look at three things you need to know about Oscar Molina. Started with his twin brother, Javier, boxing at the age of seven. He represented Mexico in the 2012 Olympics. He said his improved diet and eating habits is the reason why he's fighting now here at 150, but the ultimate goal fight at 147. First time in his career he's ever fought this low. In fact, when he was in the Olympics, he fought at 152. There's a combination as he goes to the body. Gava Machava countered with a left hook. Now it's the wolf going to work. Right now he has to be going to the body right now. He has him exactly where he wants him. The wolf should be going to the body right now. The wolf moves his head not, not one time. He keeps that high guard tight. He tries to catch it on the gloves. More jabs and more jabs should be told to, to Molina in the corner. There's that looping overhand right as Molina showing the hand speed there. Quick one-two combination. Short uppercut by the Wolf. And you can see that left hook is the money punch for Molina. Right now, Wolf should be cutting the ring off, circling to the right, just going to the right, and, and cutting the ring off and start going to the body. Start investing in the body a little bit early right now. We are halfway through round two. Is that because Molina's fighting at this low weight for the first time? You want to see what the stamina's like? Yes, you, want, you definitely want to see what the stamina's like. And, and he's throwing a lot of hard shots early. So right now you want to see if his endurance is, is, is key and, and if he can keep this pace up. We know the Wolf can keep the pace up from, future, from, from further fights that we've already seen from the Wolf. And we want to see what Molina can do at this small weight. How about the trade there by both of these fighters? There's a left to the body by the Wolf. And now the fight is working in the Wolf's favor right now. Um, he's slowing down a little bit, not, not a lot of movement, and he's sitting in the pocket with him, and that's just the Wolf's fight. There's another right to the body by Gaval Machava. Here comes 30 seconds here of round two. Left hook to the body by Molina. Good Overhand shot. right. Right hand by the Wolf. Molina must get back to the jab. Get back to the jab and keep it at his range and keep it at his pace. Final seconds of round two. Welcome back. You're watching Toe to Toe Tuesday. We're in Tunica, Mississippi. You're looking at Levon Gav Gavama Java, nicknamed the Wolf for obvious reasons. If you take a look at the chest and the hair over this man's body, had his first child nine months ago, baby Luca. In fact, this is the second Olympian 
Obama Java has faced. Faced your Dennis Ugas in this venue back in February. You'll see your Dennis Ugas in the main event after this fight. A couple of left hooks by both fighters. See, we see Molina keep going to the left. The Wolf must cut the ring off and go to the right. That's his escape route to keep going to the left. In order for Wolf to be successful, he must cut it off and, and go to the right. You can see both of them back to the jab here in round three. This round, Molina has used the jab a lot more, and he's keeping it at his pace. That's what he needs to do to be successful. There's the stiff jab again by Molina. Here comes the Wolf. Uppercut overhand right by Molina. Missed with that one, but the Wolf does it with a left hook to the body. Here's that left hook to the body by Molina. Now, once again, Molina is on the ropes. He's fighting the Wolf's fight once again. After he started off doing very well by using the jab, he's fighting the Wolf. This is the Wolf's fight. There's a right hand by Molina. Wolf missed that one and got countered by Oscar Molina. That's what Molina must do. Use his feet, use a great jab, use his instinct. Of course, Molina comes from that fighting family, Javier, twin brother. He's 17 and two. Here's a combination by the Wolf. But his older brother, Carlos Molina, of course fought Adrian Broner, Amir Khan, has not fought in a while. In fact, he told us Carlos is studying and preparing to be a sheriff back in California. Here's the right hand by Gavama Chava and the left hook countered by Molina. Good body shot by, by the Wolf. The Wolf the Wolf seems like he's pacing a little bit better than Molina. And, and the, 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 the more the, the fight happens, you might see it turn in the Wolf's favor. Six weeks. Wolf said he trained for this fight. And to piggyback on you, Brian, the tutelage of, of Virgil Hunter, you can see it. You, you know, and, and most of the time, the atmosphere is, you can see it. You, you can see he looks like the professional in the ring right now. Got in good work, he said, with Birdo, Amir Khan during his camp. Final seconds here of this third round. Welcome back, Toe to Toe Tuesday. Levan Gavad Machava, the corner. Virgil Hunter, of course, is his trainer. For more, here's our Jordan Hardy. This is yours. This is yours. Don't let it get away, Come on. Check us out. Helping ease the pain of not fighting tonight. He said no, actually, right it's there. making it a lot worse. But he said he's happy to support a stable mate, Devama Chava. He said he's doing well. He's breaking down Molina. And that he said that he would like to see him use a little more head movement, though. So what do you think about uh, Superbad? What do you think about that head movement? Is it all right? It's, it's all right. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. I think he should do it a little bit more. Mario Barrios was supposed to be in the main event tonight. But... Lara, Nelson Lara, who you will see in the main event, came in overweight. Barrios dropped out. And he is a stable mate of Gavab Machava. Of course, Barrios trained by Virgil Hunter as well. These guys now invest to the body. Right hand by the Wolf. And here's a left hook. Every, every shot Molina throws, I think he needs to set shots up. Every shot he throws is very, very hard. It's very, very, he, he, want, he wants bad intentions on every shot he throws. I think he should set more shots up. Body work there by the Wolf, a left to the body, followed it up as he went upstairs as well. Minute gone here in round four. Keep in mind, we've asked you to help us score tonight's fights on that throwdown scoring app. As we take a look at your unofficial scorecard, you've given First three rounds to the Wolf, Levan Gavad Machava. Most of, most of the rounds are being fought how the Wolf wanted them to be fought. 
He's in there. They're both in the phone booth, and that's the, that's the shorter man's. That's the shorter man's advantage. That's Wolf's advantage. He has great high guard, and that's his advantage to be in the, be in the cut and just in, in, in the throw and run shots. Well, one of the things he told us, Tony, tonight, he said I wanted to pressure Mer Molina and open him up for that right hand over the top, but keep that jab in his face. See, now that, now that the whip is going back, Melinda should be at least closing the gap with a good jab. There's a right hand to the body by the Wolf. As far as Molina is concerned, said, listen, I, I believe the body is the weakness for the Wolf. That's how Sergei Lipinet stopped him. That's where I need to invest in. But he says, I got to keep him at the end of my jab and make the, the, the fight a fast-paced fight. But like I said before, Brian, as the fight goes on, you will see the fight turn in the Wolf's favor. And right now, we're seeing that. Right now, he's being first every single time with the shorter jab, and, and Molina's waiting too much. Here's the last 20 seconds of round four. There's a right hand by Molina, but he gets countered by the Wolf. That's that one big shot that I keep talking about. Every shot has bad intentions, and that's just that one shot. If he put two and three, three, three together, he will see success. Welcome back. You're watching the PBC here on FS1. Let's take a look at some of the action from round four. Watch that overhand right by Molina, and then the counter right there by the Wolf. They went back and forth in round four. This is round five. We are scheduled for 10. Wipe up the flow. Wipe up the flow. And the wolf didn't have his mouthpiece in. So we resume round five. Well, Molina gives him the opportunity to counter after that one big shot because he's only throwing one. If he throw two and three, it'd be hard. It'd be a break up the rhythm of Wolf even trying to counter anything he does. Molina giving him a little movement here in round five now. Here's a left hook. By both men. Molina's looking to hold. I, like I said, as the fight go down, I think we'll see him start to wear down even more. We don't know if it's the weight, him coming down for the first time and wait or, or what, but it, it looks like that Wolf is coming on stronger and, he, and he's kind of just declining just slightly. You heard him tell our Jordan Hardy at the top of the broadcast that he felt stronger because of the new diet, the eating habits he had, but we will see. He has spent the majority of his career 154, 152. He said ultimately he wants to be at 147. And as fighters, we feel strong, but you know nothing, nothing can emulate going 10 rounds with with eight ounce gloves on. Nothing can emulate that for you to say that I feel strong. There's a good counter by Molina. But it, it's all happening off the good movement that he's doing and starting off with the good jab. Good movements, good movements. Now, right now, be good movements, good movements, good shots. He's making it hard for the Wolf right now. Under a minute here, round five. There's a combination by the Wolf. Body and in the head. Good movement. Good movement again. He needs to keep using that lateral move. Once he sits like this is when it's the Wolf's turn to retaliate. There's a one-two there by Molina. Right now, the pace is being dictated by the Wolf. The Wolf is doing everything. He's cutting the ring off. He's taking what, what Molina throws, his best shots, and he's still pushing forward. So right now, he's making it very uncomfortable for Molina. 
Couple of devil left hooks by the Wolf. Left hand gets in by Molina at the bell. Round six, scheduled for 10. Levon, Gavama, Java, and Oscar Molina. There's a right hand by Molina. One great thing I noticed about the Wolf that he is talking on the telephone. I don't know who he's talking to, but that right hand stays tight to the chin. So that left foot, it, it'll, be, it'll be hard for Molina to get that left foot off because he's talking on that phone and I, he's not putting it down. I love that when you guys talk them boxing terms. Hold that phone. Hold that words, phone. He's keep that right hand phone. right he's up there. On. Keep it right up to the face. <laughs> See, Molina tried to sneak an uppercut in. Double jab, right hand by the Wolf. Once again, that, that certain space, that speed, Molina has to get more space to get those shots off. Right now, when he bends over and, and he goes over that left foot, he, he's, he's now vulnerable for everything that, that, that the Wolf is doing. Both of these men Punch out. coming off a loss. All right, break. Step back. No punch. Both said they feel a Bump. sense of urgency. For Gavama Machava, split decision loss to your Dennis Ugas. Before that, he was stopped by Sergei Lipinets. There's a double left hand there great, by the Wolf. Great body work by the Wolf. Once again, another round where he's dictating the pace. Molina's going corner to corner. And not doing anything, not setting any, and not not setting anything up off of what he's doing with, with, with this with this movement in his legs. Yeah, jab, left hook by the wolf. He pushes Molina to the ropes. They call that a slip. Good left to the body there by the wolf. Right now, once Another again, left to the once body. again, the whoop, the whoop, the whoop is turning on. He's turning on. He's being a bully right now. He's pushing him back. He's just being physical. He's, 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 he's creating the space he needs to throw the great shots that he needs, and he's being successful this year. 30 seconds left here in round six. A right hand to the body by the wolf. Uppercut. Like I said, once again, we're looking at Molina just being, just tab it off balance. He's leaning over that left foot every time he jabs. So it's hard for him to do anything after that. He needs to stay on that back foot and, and make combinations work and make combinations grow. Use his athletic and use his, he uses you. There's a left to the body by the Wolf. And he is hunting for a victory. Welcome back as you take a look at Levon Gavama Chava. The schedule for 10. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the last round. Right now, the Wolf is howling at the moon right now. He's working. He's cutting the distance off. He's cutting the ring off. He's working short. He's keeping that guard high. And right now, we, we, we are seeing a good Wolf right now in work. This one's scheduled for 10. Bama Chava has gone a full 10 rounds just once in his career when he had that loss, split decision loss to Ugas in February here. Prior to that, he had never been past eight rounds. You know, Brian, sometimes you can tell the shape of a fighter by just the fundamentals. And, and, and as you see, as, as round one go in this round seven, the Wolf still has that same posture, that same high guard. Nothing has drifted down. And as, and, and, and as you see Molina, he's a little bit off balance. He's a little bit, his balance is off. He's, he's still throwing those hard shots. He's easily pushed. So, so sometimes those little small things you can see that which, which fighter is maybe is just a little better condition. Well, if we look at the Throwdown Scoring app, our unofficial scorecards, we ask you to help us score the fight. You say the Wolf is pitching a shutout thus far. Molina just one loss in his career. How about that jab there? A series of jabs by Gaval Machava, and here comes Molina now. Once again, that, 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 that distance that they're fighting at right now is, is dictated towards the Wolf. Um, um, Molina should just use his jab more. Just set it up. Set up shots. Every shot doesn't have to be a knockout shot. He just needs to set up for that knockout shot.
We are halfway through round seven. Lena loaded up with that right to the body. Jab, right hand. There's a left hook by Molina. But once again, that wasn't, it, was, it, would, it would never be flesh. Uh, like I said, the Wolf is talking on the phone. He's talking to the DTE man. He's talking collect because he does not let that right hand drift down. Short uppercut right hand by the Wolf. Double jab by Gavon Machapa. Molina is throwing the more explosive shots, but they're only one at a time. Whether the Wolf, he throw three, four, five, go to the body, four, five, six. Good shot there. Yeah, Molina. Good shot there by Molina because, yeah, the, like I said, the phone, he drifted down, he put it on for a minute, he told her, hold on, and then now he got hit with the hook. <laughs> We're coming to the final seconds of round seven. There's a left hook by Molina. Uppercut. And round seven is in the books. Molina threw a lot of great shots that round. Welcome back to PBC here on FS1. Oscar Molina, trained by his father, Miguel. This is round eight. Once again, Molina is getting beat, beat by the jab. He needs to be first with the jab. He's being second every single time with the jab. He needs to just be first. That left hand. Hit the guard of the wolf. Here's a left hook that sneaks in by Molina. But everything like that, Brian, happened off the movement. He has to sneak and set up those kind of shots like that. All right, Brian, step back. Keep him up. Box. Here's the right hand by the wolf. There's another left hook by Molina. Caught on the guard by the whiff again. That that left that right hand is, is tight. Double left hand. Uppercut. By Gavab Machaba. Got watch your hands, both of them. Box. Ninety seconds left He's being here. In second round eight. every time. Molina's being second. The, the 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 pace is being dictated again by the wolf. He's even being first with the jab, even though he has the shorter arms. He's being first with the jab, and that's that's getting him there exactly in the in the spots he needs to be to throw the real hard shots that he wanted to throw. Once again, Molina is circling to the left every single time. The Wolf should cut it off and go to the right. But the movement that he's doing, he should have been doing. He should have just been moving. Good counter shot right there. That's yeah, what he should be doing. Snuck in the right hand, Molina did. Under a minute here around eight. That left hook is Molina's shot, and, and the Wolf has done a great job the whole fight neutralizing it and taking it away from him. Here's a left to the body by Gaval Machaba. Quick one two by Molina off the ropes. Body shot by the Wolf. 
and, and none of those shots seem to be truly hard, Brian, but they're, but they're getting the judge's attention because he's keeping the hands moving. There's another left hook by the Wolf. He applies pressure in the final seconds of this round. It's getting good here in Tunica. Welcome back. Toe to Toe Tuesday here on FS1. Saturday on FS1, two iconic teams meet on baseball's hallowed ground as the Chicago Cubs take on the Boston Red Sox at Fenway. Then the Angels battle the Rangers. It all starts Saturday, 4 Eastern on FS1. Here are some highlights from the round. You see a big left hook by the Wolf. Um, he's dictating the pace, and right now he's moving. Two more rounds left here. This is round nine. It's scheduled for 10. There's a quick one, two by Molina. Gives him some movement. That's the movement, and that's, the, that's how he should have been letting his hands go from round one. Setting up shots for the hard shot, not the hard shot for the setup shots. You see the Wolf stabbing that jab at the body at Molina. And a right hand comes upstairs with the left hook. The Wolf is doing the right thing right now. He's focused on the body. He's chopping the tree down. And once you chop the tree down, it's, be, it's, 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 it's only soon that, that, that it'll be ready to fall. There's the right hand over the top. It's also stopping the movement that Molina, that Molina had. Now he's back planted, and now, and now Wolf can do exactly what he wants to do from here on out. Under two minutes here in round nine. There's a big left hook to the body. Back Wolf. against the ropes, the Wolf. The Wolf is closing the distance every time with a double jab, and it, it gets him right in, right in position to be able to throw that left hook to the body, or the left hook to the head, or the right hand up top. He's keep, he's pushing forward. He's pushing forward right now, man. And we're, we're looking at a good Wolf right now dictating the fight. Again, a jab to the body, then back upstairs. Gavad Machala. What can Molina do to turn this thing around? He has, to, he has to be the bully. So, so at, at, at this point in the fight right now, you got two rounds to go. Now you got to go balls to the wall. You're down on the scorecards probably, and now you got to go balls to the wall. You have to do everything you can right now. Throw right, throw, throw all the hard explosive shots and be the bully. Push him back. Push the wolf back. Let's see how he fights going back. He's been coming forward the whole time. Push him back right now. Little bumps back right there in, in, in the shorter spots. Bump backs, push him back, and then you cut how you need to cut. He loaded up with that left hook. He then got countered by the wolf. Here is looping left hook by Gavama Machava. Under 30 seconds. It's still that one single hook from Molina. That single, still that one single hook. He's not gonna. He's, he hasn't got nothing accomplished. I think his corner should have been telling him, you know, sometimes throw double left hooks or double right hands. See, he needs to be doing something different. Here's a right hand by Molina. One more round left. Gavon Machalba heads to his corner and listens to his trainer, Virgil Hunter. Let me get that bucket down and refresh him. Come on, yo, give me a towel. Get down the towel. Yeah, pull, pull, pull it. Let me get that. I got the cold water on his head, huh? I'm gonna let you do what you do. I'm gonna pour it on his head, but then I'll let you do what you do. Pull it over, Wolf. You need a towel. You need a towel. Okay, go ahead, Donnie. Feel good? All right, one more, Donnie. He ain't cut. Let's focus on refreshing your last one. Real good. Get that towel on, baby. Get that towel on so they don't say nothing. You don't want to give him no time. Okay, here we go. Feeling good, Wolf. Really strong, okay? Don't bunch yourself out, just win the fight, okay? Don't give him no reason for them to try to give a draw or something. No reason. Last round. Last round. Last round. We take a look at some of the action here. The end of round nine, there's that left hook by Gavad Machava. Here comes the 10th and final round. Molina's corner should have been telling him, plant your feet, push him back, throw big shots, 
son, you got to go balls to the wall. You got to do everything you can right now. Right now, a suicide mission right now. Do everything you can to win this fight. You heard the corner of Levon Gavad Machava. Virgil Hunter tell him, listen, you don't do anything to allow the judges to give him a draw here. There's a right hand as Molina tried to load up. Once, Short uppercut, left hook by the Wolf. But once again, Molina is leaning over that left foot. Even when he when he curls up that defense, he's leaning over the left foot. That's why the uppercut keeps landing for the Wolf. Wolf is more balanced. With the Wolf, every time he curls up, he's more balanced, and he's able to get his shots off and run his shots and not be in place to get hit with those hard shots. There's a left hook, right hand by the Wolf. Quick one-two by Molina. See, right now, that little small break, Molina should have been pushing forward, changing the pace for the fight. So we take a look at how you, the fans, have it scored on our throwdown scoring app. You say the Wolf has pitched a shutout here in Tunica. It's the Wolf who wins that exchange. Under a minute left in this fight. Here's a cut now on the right eye of Gava Machava. Once again, though, even with the cut, uh, the Wolf is howling at the moon. He's howling. He's howling. He's pushing forward. He's dictating the pace, and he's letting his hands go. He is certainly hunting for a victory here in Tunica, Mississippi. 30 seconds now. Short uppercut there by Gavad Machaba. Right hand. He's giving him the opportunity to counter every time because he's throwing single shots. Molina has to put him together. He has to put him together. He has to stop leaning so far over that left foot. Last 15 seconds. Here's the final seconds. Steal one shot at a time, Molina. This is what you've been doing all night. Great competitive fight by both, by, by, by both fighters. And the Wolf. And the Wolf is howling <laughs> at the moon, baby. He's howling he at the He believes wolf. he's hunted himself down a victory. We'll find out when we come back. Welcome back. You're watching Toe to Toe Tuesday. Listen, the Wolf is on fire. I mean, this guy, he's got steam coming from him. Let's recap this fight here, Tony, and let's go basically round by round. Round number one, we see toe-to-toe -to -toe action by both fighters. We see a lot of, a, a lot of good shots by Melina, and, and the, but basically more countering by the Wolf. Round two, still, still too much of the same thing, toe-to-toe uh, uh, -to -toe action. But as the fight pushed forward, we've seen a lot of more countering. Round three, this, this is when the, the, the action started to pick up. Uh, the Wolf started to be first. So it was less countering, more work by the Wolf. Round number five is still the same thing. Uh, more, work, more, more work by the Wolf. It's just, it just been a simple night for the Wolf. He dictated the pace. He threw more shots. He landed the harder shots. Once again, he's pushing forward, pushing the pace. Molina looking for one big shot, and you see the Wolf countering off all that. Round number nine, we see the Wolf still pushing forward, getting Molina on the ropes, still countering those jabs, still dictating the pace, still throwing great short shots. And the final round was just the same as all the rest of the rounds. You see a lot of toe-to-toe -to -toe action, but more, more work and, and, and a lot more countering from the Wolf. The Wolf should be, and you see the Wolf, he's howling at the moon, baby. It's transformation time. <laughs> he said, I want to stay busy and pressure him. It looks like it was a dominant performance. The judge's official decision is in. Let's find out who won this fight. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, having completed 10 rounds, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judges at ringside, Recia Allen and Mac Thornton have the contest 98 to 92, and Gerald Deming sees the bout 97 to 93. All for your winner by unanimous decision, LaVon the Wolf Gavami Chava. The Wolf, La 
Vonga, Vonga, Java.